Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to FinBear channel. Today is Thursday, July 1st, and we are going over Grand Tierra Energy, and its stock ticker is GTE. Uh, so let's dive in. This is a stock that we know I'm invested in, and I've been doing a few videos on that I really enjoy watching the story of this company and the story of the chart going on. As always, I zoom out before I zoom in when I'm doing my technical analysis, and here we have still the continuation of the saga of the bigger W on the little W with what's going on with this company. Uh, so back on this side of the chart over here, if I zoomed out a little bit further, you would see that bigger W. And I've done that on previous videos you can check out. And so we are actually in the tail right here of this bigger W and we had another W within it. And I'm loving how this W is forming. Look at that. We're getting high walls. High walls are good. I love high walls. I wish personally that this high wall was even higher, but it's okay. I'm not, I'm not going to get upset about it. I'm not going to get upset because I have a feeling that we might be having either crossing over and continuing um, continuation if we cross over this trend line here or possibly even another little W on the bigger W that's on the bigger W, which again, I'm okay. A triple W. Uh, yes, please. Um, cause we're still moving up. We're still going up and that's what really matters. Uh, here we have on the stotch, we see that if you zoom in on it, which is a little difficult from here, if you zoom in, we see that stotch is about to go positive. Uh, currently it is at 38 under 40, but look at this green momentum we have going on here. I would not be surprised to see tomorrow if we maintain this momentum that is going to finally cross over and gap up. Uh, here we have the high of um, RSI at 78. I don't think it's crazy. I think this RSI might go higher or or price goes higher, but we get a new lower high on RSI. And that's okay. We are okay with that. We are becoming pros at seeing that happen. But look at this. If I, Because remember, the RSI can go all the way to 100 and it hit 78. So there's still so much more room for it to make some cool moves for in the short term. Uh, which makes me happy. Uh, here we go on to the hourly chart. Uh, as we see here, we have a tulip forming. We're going to have a little tail, and I think we're going to see it continue to push up. Uh, as discussed a few days ago in our previous video, it turns out that 71 cents was our area of support. It stayed true. We touched it here, touched it here. I think we may have wicked there and pushed back up. That is good. And actually, we're going to upgrade this, this line to a support line because, you know I mean, it just works so hard. It deserves it. Let's see here. So for those who don't know my, my, my method, I actually make the lines thicker when they prove to be a true support area. Um, so now that this has been proven to be a support area, that is, uh, you know, a good sign for me. So now we have these little guys right here, my, my miniature supports. We blew past two of them and worked up here. Don't be surprised because look at how high this went. The stock hit all the way up to 85 and the RSI hit up to 59. So we still have some room on the R or 64. RSI still has some room to go and continue up. Um, Stotch, we do see that it is now saying um, it's three points under. It's 76 under 79, uh, which is a mini bearish signal. I think what's going to happen is we can see here if we zoom in consolidation. We're going to consolidate on this line right here, 76 cents, uh, actually 76.99. So basically 77 cents. It is going to chill there for a while. Don't be surprised to see some sideways action right there along that line before it continues making another pump and push through other barriers. Uh, the next area I think that might be our area um, of resistance coming up just in the short term. Let me see here. Now we've already got that. It's going to be up here. Yeah, it's going to be right here, obviously, just above it. Um, actually, we're going to say right about here. Yep. We got to make this smaller. And we're going to make it. I don't like red because I always feel like red is bad. We're going to do purple. So this is going to be our new area of resistance because here we tapped it twice. And here you can see that it was a strong area of um, resistance trying to bounce back up and support previously. It wicked down to here 
it went down towards this zone here and here it actually closed um, and, and it almost opened around there too. So this is a strong area I think that we can take on and that's 79 cents. And yes, I know you're like, why are we fighting over three cents? Because that's what we got to do to get to a dollar after a dollar. And as we continue moving forward, we're then going to see us fighting over a dollar or two or 10 cents. I can't wait for the day we're fighting over dimes or nickels. That'd be awesome. Uh, you know, th th that's the joy of uh, taking on stocks like these that are, you know, small cap and such. Uh, I am a big investor. Oh, there goes my uh, watch. Um, I'm a bit, I'm not a big investor, but I am a big supporter of GTE. I today, not today, yesterday, I purchased over 2000 shares, um, which might not seem like a lot to some, but that's a lot to me. I, I don't think I've ever bought that many shares of a company all at once. And that's very cool to me. Uh, so it's just a cool sign of growth. Uh, what are your new wins or, you know, accomplishments that you didn't think you could do before that you are now doing? Uh, just think about it. Share it with us. Let us know. Uh, that's what I have for us for today. Uh, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And as always, I hope you're having an amazing week, doing awesome things, and let's go make some money.